If you've ever flown internationally, there's a good chance the wings and big parts of the body of that plane originated here in Alcoa's massive 135-acre factory in Davenport, Iowa. Typically, we make the wing and the fuselage of airplanes. So a lot of any airplane, you're flying uh, the wings and then the skin sheet or the skin that you see, the outer part of the airplane. That's uh, predominantly what this plant specializes in. Workers turn thick slabs of aluminum into airplane fuselage skins and wings in large aluminum sheets using a 220-inch wide hot rolling mill. The 220-inch mill itself is massive. It stands six stories, three above ground and three below. Inside the mill are a series of rollers driven by two 5,000 horsepower motors. It's the largest in the world, and it was designed and put in around uh, 1970 for the sole purpose of uh, accommodating Boeing when they were designing and making the 747. So it's designed to be able to roll the 747 wings. Since then, it's also been used for the A380, another large airplane, a 777, another large Boeing product. And then, of course, it's branched out into other aerospace products. The 220-inch mill is the largest of four hot mills used to roll out aluminum parts for airplanes at the Davenport factory. But it's not just the size of the machinery that's big. This plant is part of the approximately $4 billion aerospace business for Alcoa. Woodall says rising fuel prices have pushed demand for lighter weight and more efficient airplanes. Obviously, we went through the recession 2008, 2009, but now the, all of our customers have about an eight-year backlog of airplanes that they're trying to build. Alcoa is counting on the increased aerospace demand as the company tries to grow its lightweight products business. Jason Sanchez, CNN Money, Davenport, Iowa.